this year's theme is Unleashing the Innovation Wave, Enabling a Digital Tomorrow. And speaking of innovation, what are the key strategies for a digital telco to grow? We'll know more with our next speaker here on Heard on the Street. And next, Sobet Telcom, we will be discussing related to the trends and also the transformation of the digital telco industry with Stanley Manzini, Strategic Partnership Director of Vox Solutions. So, hello, Stanley. Hey, How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? And thank you for being with us here on Heard on the Street. So, uh, Stanley, the talk about transformation, the digital trends, the technology advancement, from your perspective, how is it like for the industry itself, the transformation, also the challenges that we are facing? I think for me, the most important thing is that we live in an environment where the technological advancements, they will happen whether you like it or not. As a result, as solution technology, I, mean, I come from a technology solution provider background, whereby all the solution providers or the guys who are giving business to the end users are supposed to be flexible enough to adapt to the changing market conditions. But not only flexibility works now, you also need to be innovative. And when you talk about innovation, is that you need to be able to produce relevant solutions that will meet the client's expectations. Because things are changing every day. Now, I come from a messaging uh, environment where everyone was talking about A2P for messaging. Now we've got A2P for voice. So if you were never ready for the A2P for voice, it means you're going to lose revenues. But at the same time, we need to be committed to deliver whatever it is that we are promising. So the technological advancement, you can't get away of it. It's coming. And the future belongs to those who get there first by being prepared. And you also talked about earlier uh, innovation yes. and how we always have to continue to innovate, especially in answering the technological advancement. Yes. How can we stay or probably, you know, ensure the innovation, especially in our companies and our organization, stays up to date and also ahead of the competition? Yeah, I think the other thing which we need to develop in order for you to develop innovation, you need to not only look at what is happening around you, you also look at look what's happening outside your scope, outside your market. What are the other people doing? You see, the problem that we have today is people they use their mind for only one thing. You know, they use their mind for what happened yesterday, to remember what happened yesterday. You need to use your mind to know what is happening around me now, that insight. But most people lack the third thing, which is called the foresight. Imagine what could happen tomorrow. And think about, if tomorrow comes, am I prepared for it? Am I prepared to handle tomorrow? So for me to be able to look at what's happening tomorrow, I need to know what's happening outside, for example, outside of the Asian market. For example, in some of the advanced countries other than us, what are they doing already? So we prepare ourselves now. So innovation, it's an ongoing process where you need to keep on looking what's happening, what's happening, what if this doesn't happen? How will I overcome it? Yeah, so whoever gets that there first. Yes. And you mentioned that you've been looking around. So what is happening right now? I mean, globally, not only regionally. Okay. Now, if I look globally, like I mentioned now, I'm from the A2P SMS background. Most MNOs, mobile network operators, are complaining because of the rise of the, their traffic going down. You know, their SMS traffic is, A2P SMS traffic is going down. And in most cases, it's because there are flash calls which are cannibalizing now the A2P SMS traffic. Most MNOs were not ready for the, that voice will come back to haunt the A2P traffic. So I've noticed it's happening in Asia, it's happening in Africa, it's happening in Europe. And I'm happy to say that our company, we have a solution, we have implemented the solution already, which is going to help that solve the problem. And in answering those um, problems that we face, that you face in the market as well, mm -hmm. what is the first step in understanding the market or also the consumer? Uh, I think the first thing is to go and do a penetration test. Have a look at why you are losing revenues because people are losing their traffic is going down. And when the traffic goes down, it means your revenue is going down. So first of all, you need to find out, am I losing traffic now from Google, from Meta? from WhatsApp, wherever the traffic is going down, and then get a solution provider who can be able to work with you 
so that we can close all those other channels so you can be able to monetize what you actually paid for. Okay. And throughout partnerships and also fostering um, teamwork and also collaboration, mm -hmm. collaboration has also been one of the key topics exactly. discussed. Mm -hmm. What can we do to collaborate? Or from your perspective and your organization, what collaboration potentials are there? Okay. I think uh, I'm a strong believer to the fact that none of us is as strong as all of us together. If you want to go very fast, go alone. But if you want to go very far, collaborate, go with someone, go with the people. So I believe also that there are a lot of things which I know and you don't know. But when we come together, we both learn from each other and we grow. I know some people have a problem with no, but I'm talking to competition and whatever. But sometimes there is what we call cooperation, And cooperation is that you use each other's strength to be able to move forward. So we need to collaborate. It's very, it plays a key role. Because when you collaborate, we will go very far. Together? Yes. Well, mm. what about the competition? You uh, mentioned competition. Do you believe there is still competition among the digital telco players? There will always be competition. And competition is good because it keeps us to stay out of our comfort zone. So competition is good. But now I'm also talking, yes, we compete on other things, but we also need cooperation, which is not competition. So cooperation is that we work together towards a common goal using our strengths. Because there are strengths that you have, there are strengths which I don't have. For example, as a mobile operator, maybe I have coverage in the sea. You go to Gili Island, right. which I like so much, here in Indonesia, and maybe, let's say, Telkom Cell has coverage in the sea, and then maybe Excel doesn't have coverage in that particular spot, then Excel can collaborate with Indonesia, with Telkom Cell and say, we will use your coverage in that particular area. So this is like, we are working together to still meet the customer. And in areas where we don't have coverage, then we can have, co it's called a, a cold share location, you know? So we could do that. But the most important thing here is that collaboration helps us to go very far. And at the end of the day, remember, it's about the customer. At the end of the day, it's all about the customer. Because the customer pays your salary. Yes, of course. Yes. Our company many times have to go with transformation. Yes. What kind of transformation is needed by a company? And when does a company need to undergo a massive transformation? Uh, I, I think that's why there is something that we call feedback. Sometimes as companies, we tend to think that when we come up with new products, the customer doesn't know what they need. But sometimes the customer knows more than you. Uh, sometimes you need to have sessions where you listen to your customers, where you listen to what are the challenges that they go through with your network. You must say that you have the best network in the country. But if your customer is not happy, they will churn. I mean, I know in countries like Indonesia, the churn is very high. So if people don't like you, they just throw away the SIM card and move to the next. But if you communicate with your customer, that is the first step in knowing what makes my customer happy. And therefore, what things do I need to improve? And don't only focus on the high value customers, because remember, at the end of the day, is the value that you create. Some people I know, they talk more about money, that the price must be cheap. What is the value for me if the price is cheap, but the, the quality sucks? So. You have to create value. Value is more important. And at the end of the day, when you listen to your customers, it boosts your relationship. When you come to me and you sell me something, before I buy your product, I buy you. And that depends on the relationship that I have with you. And remember that when you talk about customer service, you make one customer happy. He might tell maybe 20 people about you, but you make one customer is not happy with your service, he will tell 100 people. Yeah. So listen to your customer. Yes. Okay, with the current condition of the industry and of course the market which you uh, face every day, what does organization or digital telcos need to prepare in the next five, 10 years time? I think uh, digital transformation is something that has to be ongoing and each and every company have to make sure that they prepare for their staff for the future. Someone said, if you are still celebrating on yesterday's achievements, then you haven't done much for today. So most people are stuck in their yesterday's achievements. Ask yourself, what am I doing today to prepare for the future? Have some of your team that you send abroad to have a look at what others are doing in the market. 
I know now we are talking about 5G, right? Soon we'll be talking about 6G. Do you have people that from your company that are learning from the people, the technology providers who are doing exactly this ahead to see what is it that we can learn so that by the time this comes to us, we are ready. Like I said, it comes to those who get there fast, fast and fast. So in short, maybe what I'm trying to say is that think big, uh, start small, start now and scale fast. Scale fast. Scale fast. Always but fast. But you have to think big first. Think big first. And in order to be able now. to think big, you need to have reference. Yep. And having reference is what are others doing that we can learn from and bring it to our country. Challenge yourself every day. Challenge yourself every day and get to know what Get to know what's happening around you. And one of the, one of that is through conferences like what we one are One of having. them is yes. like to attend the conferences such as this where we're talking about edge computing, where we are talking about the cyber security threats. You know, there are a lot of things which are happening, which by the way, I learned and I must say, Thank you to the Telling team for the amazing Batik event. The engagements were just beyond. I attended the grand opening. It was amazing. And you can please also elaborate and tell us more on your views and also your experiences for the conferences and also discussions at Telling. Uh, I think I have met the most amazing people. I mean, the fact that here you are bringing, this is like a melting pot. Yeah. Where you have people from Middle East, you have people from Europe, you've got me from Africa, Orangi, Kiginyaputi, <laughs> you know. So, and you also have people coming from the APEC region, and we are all learning what is happening to everyone. So, I enjoyed myself, and people coming from all spheres. Okay, and probably for those who have not yet attended this event, mm -hmm. probably since this is an annual event, next year are the upcoming events to come of Batik. What do you have to say to them? Oh, you are missing out. You are missing out. You got to come and attend the Batik event. You have to come and you attend. You have to come and attend. It's an order. It's an come order. It's an oh, order. Right. Come and attend because, the Batik event. Yeah. Because uh, through this, as you mentioned before, all players can come together, discuss and also collaborate. And you, you're going to learn a lot of things. Sometimes you think you know it all until you meet people who know a little bit more than you. Remember the difference between ordinary and extraordinary? is the word extra. So you might think your business is good, but wait until you come here. Then yes. it will make you better. And learn more. And more, yes. All right, thank you very much, thank you. Stanley Manzini. And we hope to see you again at the next Batik. Terima kasih, Bu. Terima kasih. Okay. So, Batalcom, that was our discussion with Stanley Manzini, Strategic Partnership Director of Box Solutions here at Batik 2023 for Heard on the Street, Batik Edition. Through Batik, it shows Telkom Group's commitment to focus on the B2B segment. And with Batik itself, it also becomes an opportunity for a business rendezvous of global digital telco business players to come together to not only discuss trends, transformation, but also to create the pathway for the future of the industry. This is all for Heard on the Street Batik edition. Don't forget to drop your thoughts and comments in the comment box below. And we hope to see you again on the next Heard on the Street. Sampai jumpa!